y'all really not doing what we need y'all to do with these shows okay it's not giving okay with these eight episode series okay y'all really getting me tight with that because everywhere i look around it's an eight episode series and then don't make it be good because now y'all done gave me eight episodes and now i want more and i'm just like what is going on here because there's no more episodes and then either y'all wait a whole year to come out with the next season or y'all just don't come up with one at all so now i'm left hanging get it together okay netflix get it together okay so that was my sidebar y'all what's up it's your girl sequoia unique okay and as you can see i'm back with another video all right and this one is a little different okay so this is not what you typically used to on my channel but i feel like i'm always watching netflix shows so why not put y'all on to some shows that i feel like y'all would enjoy okay i know we always looking for a new show okay there's always a new series that you know we could be watching you know you might have just finished a series that you know that you really enjoyed and now you're looking for a new one so i'm here to put you on okay so i just want to give you all a little disclaimer with the type of shows that i'm into okay so i like i like action and adventure thrillers drama um i like comedy you know i like comedy i like suspense okay i definitely love psychological thrillers okay that is my jam okay so i love that okay so more or less these shows that i'm about to put y'all on to are in one of those genres combination of those um so if you're not really rocking with that then you might as well just stay tuned actually because you might just be okay period <laughs> okay so without further ado i'm gonna just jump right into it okay and then mind you okay none of these shows are in any particular order whatsoever so we're just gonna go down the list okay if you don't know how to check your recently watched or like your past watch shows i'm gonna also put y'all onto that at the end of this video because i just found that out so without further ado let's get right into it okay so the first on this list is the recruit okay i really enjoyed this show i believe it came out in 2022 um and it's basically about this this new cia lawyer recruit who is basically working his first day his first week at the cia okay so he comes there and his co-workers you know they basically give him the grunt work they're just like oh you new here we about to you know we have to give you the work that we don't want to do so they give him like a stack of, of papers to go through and these papers are basically all the threats that the cia has received via email or you know letter whatever what have you so he actually comes across a, a threat that he feels like is legitimate you feel me so he goes and he go checks it out it actually comes from this woman who's in jail and she's like yo i know all the cia secrets i'm about to expose them shits if y'all don't get me out of here she ain't playing no game she's like i know about this that and a third and so he goes to his boss he's like yo she know about this that and a third he like oh what like ain't nobody supposed to be knowing about that so go check that out he go check it out clearly it's legitimate so you know it basically documents his his journey adjusting to his life at the cia this new case that he done stumbled upon um and trying to keep that under wraps it's, it's actually really cool like you know it has like the spy element it has the the thrill element the adventure element like it's it got a lot going for it okay and it's only i think eight episodes okay now i just want to say as a sidebar okay like netflix y'all need to get it together okay i don't know what's up with these eight episode series that y'all got going but i'm not really feeling it you feel me like i can't really get into it if it's only eight episodes you feel me like you you trying to do the character development you try to build the story you trying to tell us what's going on with the backstories and everything and it's just a lot in, in eight episodes okay now you should have just kept it at 10 like i don't understand why you just couldn't add two more episodes okay i just feel like y'all really not doing what we need y'all to do with these shows okay it's not giving okay with these eight episode series okay y'all really getting me tight with that because everywhere i look around it's an eight episode series and then don't make it be good because now y'all done gave me eight episodes and now i want more and i'm just like what is going on here 
because it's no more episodes and then either y'all wait a whole year to come out with the next one the next season or y'all just don't come on one one at all so now i'm left hanging get it together okay netflix get it together okay so that was my sidebar but with that being said even though the recruit is an eight episode series it did the damn thing baby it did the damn thing okay i i'll listen listen there's always exceptions to everything okay there's always okay and this is just one of those all right i was highly truly very impressed by this series okay i was just like wow like y'all did the character development y'all did the backstories like y'all y'all even introduced other people in this like it's a lot going on and i really fuck with it i didn't i didn't feel like i was left hanging at no point i feel like y'all did what y'all supposed to do with the recruit and i appreciate that so with that being said you feel me go check out the recruit because i cannot advocate for it enough it, it really was given what it was supposed to give okay period so the next on this list is the imposters okay the imposters was so good y'all for real it's only two seasons and i'm a bit upset with that okay every time i come on netflix i always check to see if it's coming out with another season i always do it never fails i don't know why i just i just i just wish that it came out with another season like i just feel like it was really cut short regardless okay the imposters is really about this this woman who's a con artist she works with a group of people to con men by marrying them and then basically taking all their money so she does that to her last husband shortly after the honeymoon she basically leaves him a video basically saying i'm leaving i took all your money don't try to find me <laughs> of course he's like of course he's flabbergasted he's like yo what the hell is going on here like what and then it turns out that two other people that she done con meets up with him and then they all go on this journey to try to find her and it's just this whole big adventure basically so that's that now obviously there's more elements to this, this storyline but that's pretty much the gist of it and it's like kind of comedic too so i really appreciated that so i really liked it and y'all should just go check it out if you know y'all haven't already so boom that's the imposters next on this list is dead to me dead to me baby it was so good oh my gosh y'all like for real dead to me i really stumbled upon this like and i just gave it a chance and it turned out to be so good it really exceeded my expectations and then i was just hooked and <clears throat> I was just hooked ever since okay it's three seasons i think the the third season just came out maybe this year or uh into last year but regardless it was so good it's basically about this woman who ends up going to this support group because her husband ended up dying in a car crash and then she ends up meeting the woman who ran over her husband at this support group obviously she doesn't know that when she first goes but <clears throat> this woman is so likable so relatable just so like caring and so they basically become best friends um and then the woman ends up telling her like yeah i ran over your husband and she's like so remorseful and sorry about it but by that time i think that they're they, they, be, they become such good friends that it's just like they see past that and then other situations happen you know throughout the storyline that you know brings them closer together and they have to work together type of situation so it's actually it's it's like people are dying but the comedic element and like the the storyline is just so well executed that you don't even really mind that much to be honest <laughs> i know that's crazy to say but anyways i believe this this series actually was nominated for like three different awards like it's just so good and like i cannot recommend this enough and by the the last season and the last episode i was just i was basically in tears i was like for real like not not because it was ending but because of the way it ended and it was just like damn like i really feel for this right now like damn judy anyways y'all go check that out because that to me is just so that's my show for real that that's that's going in the hall of fame like for real for real no no cap 
So yeah, that to me, fire. The next one on this list is Altered Carbon. So Altered Carbon is, it, baby, it was giving what it was supposed to give when it was, when it was supposed to give it, okay, period. Okay, it has the sci-fi element in it. It has the the action and adventure. It has the the freaking the drama. It has the the cyberpunk. It has the freaking sci-fi. It has the psychological thriller. It has the mystery. Baby, it has everything going for it. And I was just so mad that they did not come out with another season. Okay, how you gonna give me all that and then not follow up? Like, come on. I hate it when Netflix does that. So it's only two seasons, but the two seasons were fire. Fire, okay? I really love this series, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So basically, it's about this man who lived 250 years ago, okay? He was alive, he was some type of like assassin or like some type of like, some type of something, okay? But he was kicking ass, basically, okay? And so by this time, also, I just wanna preface, okay? So Takashi is actually a prisoner. Okay, so he's a prisoner, but you know, he lived 250 years ago and he's been in prison, okay, ever since, okay? They basically just stored his consciousness and told him that he ain't never coming back to life. You already know, this is a whole different type of timeline, a whole different type of world, okay? Because apparently people can be, you know, brought back to life. But he was not given that privilege because he did something that he wasn't supposed to do. He got in prison and so boom. And this rich ass man in the future, basically harvests his consciousness and brings him back to life and it's like yo i need you to solve this murder and if you solve this murder then i will grant you your freedom so of course he's like hell yeah so basically like i said they transfer his consciousness in a whole new body and then he's like walking around the world in this new body and his new body trying to solve this murder of this rich ass man um, within his rich ass family. And it's just so interesting to see the world that they came up with and you know how he's navigating it and whatnot. So I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was dope as hell and I cannot recommend this show enough. So go check out Altered Carbon if you have not already baby, okay? And that's just that on that. So next on this list is Snabba Cash, baby. So Snabba Cash is basically about this woman who is trying to fund her startup. I forget what her startup is called, but she's trying to get seed money to fund it, all right? And so she does it the legitimate way, or at least she tries to, but it doesn't really work out. So then she hits up her baby daddy's brother, who's a drug dealer, and she basically gets the money from him, okay? So now she's already now she's entangled with the drug the drug lords the drug people okay so eventually she finds herself brokering deals between these drug dealers so she's doing that um, while also being the face of like her business her business her startup actually blows up and she becomes like this successful businesswoman but on the side she is like becoming <laughs> on accident this this drug lord herself. So, um, and then it doesn't help that she falls in love with her baby daddy's brother's worker, okay? I guess like he he's like a professional killer. Like he's out here killing people on behalf of this gang that her baby daddy's brother's in. So he's like a professional killer out here killing niggas like crazy. But he has a conscious and his conscious is like, yo, this is messed up. Like. You can't be out here doing this like it's really messing with him all the people he done killed thus far so anyways they end up meeting the businesswoman and the professional killer like on some random stuff like she don't even know he's affiliated with that whole situation but because because he's so charming and whatnot like the way they met was just so innocent you know what i mean but it turns out that he's entrenched in this world of like craziness and she's like getting introduced to it like on the side you feel me so it's just like crazy how their worlds collide and how she's like leading this one life while also leading another and it was just it's, it was just a really interesting you know storyline that i really enjoyed so and it is two seasons too so you know i wasn't mad at it to be honest um so yeah go check that out it's called snap it cash it's really interesting um and yeah let me know if you enjoy it next on this list is a little different um but 
still pretty cool I think so the next on this list is the magicians so the magicians is really fantasy based okay as you can tell from the title it's about real life magicians out here like people who can actually really wield magic okay so it follows this man named Quentin I don't know his last name but Quentin basically applies to this college and I don't think at first he knows that it's like an actual magic school where people are actually out here like doing magic for real not like magic that like magic shows but like but like magic you feel me like for real like spells type of situation so he applies he ends up getting in and then he's introduced to this world of magic and he's amongst like these fellow magicians and there's like five of them that he becomes close with and um yeah i think that um also he learns that this alternate world where magic exists was or well, has been based on this book that he read as a child so a lot of the things that happen throughout the storyline is based on this book that you know he read so um, it's actually pretty interesting, I thought. It's five seasons as well, so I really enjoyed this. I think it's like 10 episodes a season, and it was just so cool to be, you know, entrenched in this world of magic and these mythical creatures and whatnot. And it also has like a, you know, comedic element to it as well, which I really enjoyed. So yeah, y'all, go check out The Magicians if you have not already, okay? Period. Okay, so next on this list, we have this show called Trippage. Trippage, I don't know how to pronounce this, okay? If I'm butchering it, y'all gonna see it on this screen. Okay. I just finished watching this show, but I thought it was just so, like, great that I just included it on this list. So, it's an eight-episode eight series, um, but I thought it was executed really well. So, basically, it follows these, these three women who... Um, basically find out that they're triplets okay so they find out that they're triplets and um they find out that a psychologist has been orchestrating their whole entire lives like from implanting people in their lives to like keep tabs on them from like um having like like different people like monitor them as a kid you know and so their parents who adopted them didn't know that this was the case and even one of the parents like kept the fact that that she was adopted up until she was 33 like this whole thing went down so it's actually really well executed i thought for it to be eight episodes um and it's just so like mind-blowing and crazy that i'm just like i was just like hooked i was like whoa like what is going on you know what i mean but yeah like i said i had to skip through some of them some of the scenes um and also keep in mind that this show is dubbed as well like it's not like it's a voiceover you know what i'm saying i don't mind shows like that but if you do then this probably won't be your speed but i thought it was a really great show check it out if you have not already and let me know what y'all think about that so that's trippage the next show on this list is called i land so i land is about 10 people who show up on this island and they don't know each other they don't know why they're there they're just really confused and like taken aback okay they're on this deserted island there's really nothing there they have to figure out how to eat how to find shelter how to do things okay on this island and of course there's mistrust because they don't know who's who what's going on and everything like that so um yeah so they all end up on this island they don't know what's going on and it's up to them to try to like figure out the mystery so i don't want to give away too much but just know that it's basically a simulation <laughs> it's basically a simulation everything feels real um and you can actually die in this place if you get killed but um it's a simulation and it's really all in their mind they're a part of some experiment and that's all i'm gonna say on that <laughs> because if i say it anymore it's just gonna be crazy it's just gonna give away the whole thing and that's not what i want i want you to actually watch it so island is really super good it's a limited series so it only has seven episodes but this one was so well executed that i didn't even really mind that much like for real like 
it answered all of my questions it gave background stories on all 10 people it was just it was mind blowing the ending was crazy it just was giving everything it needed to give like I wasn't even mad that it was only seven seven episodes usually see see they just be they just be doing anything they just be releasing anything how do you only give us seven episodes seven not even eight not even ten seven but i wasn't mad though i wasn't even mad at it that's how good it was that's what i'm saying y'all so like i said it's always exceptions to the to the rule you feel me and this was one of those exceptions baby like you just gotta go check it out for yourself it's called i dash land okay and just let me know what y'all think okay if you have not seen it already all right and that's just that on that so next on this list is blood and water now blood and water is about this girl who goes to a party and she comes across this girl who for some reason she believes is her long lost sister okay so she goes on a quest to basically figure out if this girl is her sister or not and she you know basically finds out what, what what needs to be found out about this so i don't want to give away too much but that's basically what this story is about it's about three seasons and i thought it was a really good show to be honest um it's set in cape town um so it's kind of internet it's an international show but it was just so good y'all for real like and i think it's it's not dubbed at all like i think it's like in english as well so you don't have to worry about that but it was just so good y'all go check it out if you have not already it's called blood and water next on this list is sky rojo sky rojo is literally a favorite of mine i really love this show because it just hooks you from the beginning to be honest it is basically about these three women who uh, work in a brothel and um, they're basically getting pimped by this man um, who they don't really like so much. I mean, he's not really such a great guy to be honest with you. But regardless of the fact, they end up beating this man's ass and escaping. So it's basically about them escaping and then them trying to leave their past behind, but it kind of just always keeps up catching up with them. So it's it's dubbed i believe as well but you don't even really notice to be honest and it's so like heart wrenching and just re like kind of relatable and just just so it just really it really just had me hooked it really had me in a chokehold i'm not gonna lie to y'all and y'all should just give it a chance okay to be honest y'all should really just give it a chance the next on this list and baby this this deserves to be in a hall of fame okay and it's called the 100 100 now this has like eight seasons baby and rightfully so this is such a good series like baby i can't even stress it enough like for real like this is such a good like it was such a good show like for real like and I wasn't even really rocking with it in the beginning. That's the thing. Like, but I gave it a chance. My boyfriend actually put me on to this. And I was just like, what is this? Like, this is not interesting at all. And then I don't know where it just got crazy interesting. And I was like, okay, y'all doing a damn thing for real. So the 100s is basically about the earth gets destroyed. It gets nu it gets nuclear bombed and it's no longer inhabitable. So all of humanity goes into space and they've been living in space for like a century okay so after a century they're like okay we might we might want to go check out earth to go see if it's habitable again so they send a hundred of their teenagers in a spaceship to earth to go figure out if it's habitable or not and so these a hundred teenagers get to earth and find out that it's actually inhabitable but their spaceship got destroyed in the landing and all of their communications back up, you know, in space, you know, to, to contact them. So, you know, it documents their experience getting to Earth, figuring out, um, you know, how they're going to eat, the shelter situation. Um, they also navigate, like, trying to figure out who's in charge um, and, you know, who's going to be making the calls on what to do, how to do it, and things like that. So, 
um it's really it's really truly an interesting show like it's kind of like a dystopia type of um thriller suspense type of situation and it's it's literally chef's kiss i cannot stress how good the 100s is like if you have not seen that yet like what is you really doing have you even watched any really good shows on netflix if you have not seen the 100s i don't think so i'm just it just it is what it is it is what it is so the 100s is is that show okay you need to go you need to go watch it it's like a must for real the next on this list is sense eight okay since eight is a little it's a little different type of show okay it's it basically it's about these eight people who are all telepathically connected these are random eight people okay i really don't remember how they're connected but they're not related at all but somehow they're all connected and they can all feel how each other are feeling so yeah it's a little it's it gets a little freaky too so i mean this is not pg-13 baby it's not so it's not <laughs> no ma'am no ma'am so yeah um it's a little interesting and it touches on polygamy too i feel like so you know watch that at your own expense you feel me at your own discretion because it's it's a little untraditional it's a little unique which i appreciate you know i'm all for that but that might not be everybody's speed so just keep that in mind but i really enjoyed it it was a really interesting show for me so yeah go check that out if you if you into that type of situation um and then the last show on this list y'all is the thailands so the thailands do i even really want to mention this let me see do i have another one on here oh season two is coming thursday oh my gosh okay yeah i'm gonna mention this for show forget thailands baby what Okay, the next one and the last one on this list is called Shadow and Bone, baby, yes! And I just found out that they're coming out with a second season on Thursday, baby. What's Thursday? Thursday is, is March 16th, okay? Okay, period, oh my God. It's like one of those like, like dark, kind of like uh, fantasy, like thriller, suspense type of situation. And it's just so good, y'all. Like y'all need to go check this out. If y'all don't check out any other one on this list other than The Hundreds and Dead to Me, The Hundreds and Dead to Me, if y'all don't check out either one of those, y'all need to check out freaking Shadow and Bone, baby. And it's another season coming out. Like you you need to watch season one so you can watch season two of me so we can talk about it, that's it come on oh my god shadow and bone is literally lit oh my god i'm just so hyped that this is coming out i want to give y'all another explanation okay so basically um shadow and bone is like based in like this world where there's like four or like five different types of nations okay and they're called different things okay and so this girl she's like an orphan and basically they they discover or discover that she doesn't have like a type of power like that belongs to these type of worlds okay so she's like outcast she's ostracized and they just like basically fuck her okay and so it turns out that she's actually like someone very important she's like basically a sun summoner okay and so in this world there's like this shadow that like takes over and like is making the world dark and, dis and despair and all this other type of stuff okay and well it kind of like documents like her experience growing up and how she was ostracized and how like um you know then she starts like finding her power and stuff like that and so anyways fast forwarding um like kind of like the ending or whatever because whatever um it's they turns out that like she's like this sun summoner who has like this tremendous amount of power and light within her to like dispel these dark forces and so you know it's just like so good y'all y'all need to go check this out if y'all have not already okay it's called shadow and bone okay season two is coming out on thursday march 16th so please go check that out so we can talk about it okay yeah y'all so that is my 15 plus list of netflix shows that i enjoyed and i hope that y'all will too also let me know if you guys want me to do uh anime series because baby 
I got hooked on anime maybe like 2020 and baby it's it's been crazy ever since okay so I'm gonna let y'all know what the real is okay <laughs> okay but anyways regardless of the fact okay that's my list of Netflix shows okay let me know if you're watching any of them if you like this list um and if you found any of this information useful so that's all for today y'all I'll see y'all in the next video and yeah see you later all right, y'all, as promised, I'm going to show you all how to access your Netflix viewing activity. So here we go. Please click on your profile. Once you click on your profile, you're gonna go to the upper right-hand corner and click on um, account. Once you click on account, it's gonna take you to the, your account page and then you're gonna click on your profile and then scroll down to viewing activity. You're gonna go to view right there in the corner there and then this is your uh, previously watched list of Netflix shows. And then you're gonna download this list, your viewing activity file. And once it downloads, um, and everything like that it's gonna take you to a different application where it has your whole entire list of all the shows that you've ever watched on netflix as you can see mine goes all the way down to 2020 because this is when i signed up for netflix um on this account um so boom there it is there